Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! For today, we will identify rational equation, inequality, and function. But before that, let us discuss rational expressions. Rational expression is an expression that can be written as a ratio of two polynomials. Here are the following examples. 2 over x, 5 over x minus 3, x squared plus 2x plus 3 all over x plus 1. Now the following involves rational expressions. Rational equation, Rational inequality and rational function A rational equation is an equation involving rational expressions. A rational inequality is an inequality involving rational expressions. And a rational function, as you already know from our previous lesson, is a function of the form f of x is equal to p of x all over q of x where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions and q of x is not a zero function. Here's an example of a rational equation. 2 over x minus 3 over 2x is equal to 1 fifth. Take note that the rational equation has an equal sign. Here's an example of a rational inequality. 5 over x minus 3 is less than or equal to 2 over x. As you can see, there is a presence of an inequality symbol. So this could also be greater than, less than, or greater than or equal to. Now this is an example of a rational function f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3 all over x plus 1. As you can see, the same as rational equation, rational function has also an equal sign. However, you should take note that a rational function has f of x, g of x, h of x, or any other function, or it could also be replaced by y. Now, Let's try to identify a rational equation, rational inequality, or rational function. Let us start with number 1. Number 1 is a rational equation. How about number 2? Number 2 is a rational function. Let's proceed to number 3. It is actually none of this. As you can see, there is a presence of a radical symbol. How about number 4? This is a rational inequality. How about number 5? This is a rational equation. How about number 6? Since there is another variable y here, it could also be f of x, therefore, this is a rational function. We are now on number 7. This is a rational equation. How about number 8? Number 8 is none of this because this is a radical equation. We are now on number 9. What do you think is this? Number 9 
is a rational equation. How about number 10? At first glance, it looks like a function. However, if you will look at the numerator, there is a presence of a radical symbol. Therefore, this is none of this. We are now on number 11. What do you think is this? Number 11 is a rational inequality. How about number 12? Number 12 is a rational function. There is a presence of two variables here where y is f of x. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lesson.